Hi, I'm R. Hall. I'm the director of The Subhuman, a classic film. Well, not really classic, but it's a film noir, and it's shot in the style of film noir, using the techniques of today and also the surroundings and vehicles of today, uh, mixed with the 1930s gangster films such as The Public Enemy, Little Caesar, Scarface, with uh, Palmini, of course, not the Al Pacino one, and my favorite, White Heat. There's there's a big transition here because not only am I am I gonna do be doing a film noir from just doing like horrors and westerns shorts, but I'm also doing a feature film. So not no longer is it gonna be just a short. Uh, the way I'm approaching this for my first feature is doing all the little scenes as if they're just one short movie and then combining them. So have the the, the short kind of film elements, but combining all those into this huge big feature that I hope, you know, at least you will see and other people will see and say, hey, that looked pretty good or hey, that was pretty well acted for, you know, being only $500. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I'm not the first one to do that either. Um, Raoul Walsh did it, Howard Hawks, who did it, the very, who directed the very first Scarface movie with Paul Muni. Uh, he also went on to direct uh, one of my favorite westerns, Rio Bravo, with John Wayne, about uh, 20 years later, for God's sake. Yeah. Scarface came out in 30, 32, 31, and Rio Bravo was 60, so just about 20 years later. What made me decide to do a feature length and a short? I was sick of doing shorts. I, my entire life I've done short movies. Uh, my first attempt at a feature film was about 40 minutes long. It was starring my action figures, and it was called, uh, uh, well, actually, it was just, there was two of them. Both of them were about 40 minutes long with my action figures. The first one was based off the Star Wars book, Shadows of the Empire, and the second one was a sequel to the Shadow movie that came out in 94, and I did that sequel like in 96 um, when I was a kid. And then, you know, when I was from, tw you know, how old was I? from the age of nine to about the age of 19. I mean, that's all I did was shorts, you know? With my cousins or with my action figures. And when I got into high school, I started doing them with my friends, you know? And then by, by, by college, you know, I've, I've had my little circle of, of people I, I work with, you know? Kind of like uh, Scorsese had De Niro in the 90s and now he has DiCaprio. So uh, I, I call them my, um, my R Hall players. That's what I call them. <laughs> You know, and you'll see the same people in every film almost, just about, you know, like Aaron Sluger, who's going to be playing Charlie in this film. And then you got, you know, Max, who'll be playing nobody, but he's the behind the scenes guy. So, uh, you know, you'll see, uh, who else is in this film? Ilya, who did the first short subhuman, he did the first short uh, subhuman short in high school that I did. Uh, uh, some others, you might be making appearances too. Uh, casting this, this one was very weird because I put I put a, I put an add on uh, an add on Craigslist uh, for actors, okay? and the Craigslist ad uh, ad got flagged after like three weeks. But by then I already had my actors. Um, other than that, but like the, the 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 post simply stated that I needed actors who love to act, who wanted to act for free. You know, and you know they'd, they'd get IMDb credit, maybe ten dollars, maybe even twenty dollars for food or gas one time throughout this entire shoot, if if that, because they were, they really are just working for free. They're working for credit only. I got I, I must have gotten about uh, fifty responses from this from this Craigslist ad about people, and from those tw uh, those fifty, about twenty contacted me back because apparently like the other thirty didn't read the post all the way. Uh, the other, the extra 20 read it. Um, from that 20, only about, uh, I'd say 12 auditioned. And from those auditions, only about 8 got cast. So it, that, that is really like, that, that did give me a sense of the casting uh, process because I guess, you know, you might start off with 100 people, but by the end of the entire thing, you might only have, you know, 20 maybe out of 100. That's not that much. I, mean, I had 50 people and I only ended up with 8. Um, but casting was, um, it was, 
it was challenging because I had to, you know, audition people first, see what their strengths were, see what their characteristics were. Um, one person that stood out the most was probably Carmine, and that's because he had that cool Scorsese New York accent, and you know, I was like, wow, this guy's great, you know. And then everybody else, you know, they pull off great performances too. I mean, just uh, I got um, great performance out of uh, Reed, who plays uh, Frank Dawson in the film. And uh, the guy who played Don, named Byron Vasquez Jr. Oh my God, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I had, I, I had, I did not know how good he was going to be until the day we shot, because <laughs> I, you know, I gave him the script. He rehearsed himself. I told him what I wanted. When we got there, he had the voice off. He pulled it off. I was like, I didn't have to direct him that much. And, I mean, he, that guy was was a superb character actor, I guess, you know. So, but um, other than that, you know, I mean, I. I I, I first cast some of the, um, the the characters that I already knew, like you know my friend Ilya, who's playing Joe the subhuman, and I cast you know my friend Aaron, who's playing Charlie. You know these people are just reprising their roles pretty much, and that's the way I cast it. And, you know when I did when I did the short in high school, you know, they couldn't act that much. <laughs> I mean not not for the movie I, I wanted. Um, when we got to this project. Every single person's acting skills have improved tenfold. So, you know, Ilya Albert's um, performance thus far is just very, very good, and so is um, Aaron Slitter's. Uh, the f the filming process so far has been 50/50, and I say 50/50 because when we're on, when I'm shooting, it's pretty good. I mean, sometimes it's really good. And I'm really get, loving the shots I'm getting, especially um, when we shot the uh, the Frank Dawson murder scene. That shot went off great. Um, the other 50% of the time is when I'm not shooting. That's when I get a little pissed off because people have to call out. You know who you are, <laughs> or for work reasons or or whatever. So I, that just delays another week of shooting. You know, technically this film should have been done. A week ago, a week and a half ago, and now, you know, it doesn't look like it might be done until about the end of September, even though I want it to be done the before the end of September, the, for the beginning of September. But um, yeah, it's it's been it's been interesting actually. Shooting a feature is much different than short, uh, shooting a short because shooting a short film might just take a day, if not a few hours, and where shooting a feature is taking so much longer than that because it is twice as long and. So it's an experience, and I'm happy to be going through it because I hope to be making another feature. <laughs> Hopefully with any money that I might get off of this film, if any, which is not likely. <laughs> That's a good question, Max. <laughs> Actually, no, that is a good question, Max. I don't know. Shit. No, no, I don't, I don't know. The, the hardest scene to pull off? The fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> uh, um, let me think about all this. Um, I'm probably going to say that the hardest, uh, a couple things pull, uh, stand out in my mind. Um, one is the very last scene with Joe in the movie that I already shot. That was kind of hard, but um, I think I'll, I'll just I might reshoot that on the roof of um, another building or something because we can really see the city, and I really wanted to want to see a landscape of the city in that shot, and then I didn't get to do that, so I might reshoot that. Um, another shot would have been the deli scene. And the only reason the deli scene was hard is because we were pressed for time at that point, and um, you know the the, pers the the person who let us use a deli, you know, she was um, she only gave us a certain time frame, and our contract pretty much stated that if we go anywhere above that time frame, we'd have to borrow a lot more money. Yes, I want to get it done as quickly as possible. <laughs> I, I just want to get it done. I do. I just I, and I, and 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 the reason I want to get it done is because I I, I honestly want to see how this cuts together and how I you know what what angles I actually choose for each scene and 
how it looks just on the big screen. You know, you know that's why I want to invest in an HD television. <laughs> so when when I, I make an edited version cut of the the first cut of the film, I want to see what it looks like big and see if I actually have something and or if this is just you know another Ray Dennis Steckler movie like. I think of boo-boo or some shit like that, I don't know. <laughs>